Now to Gabon, where the government blocked internet access and imposed a curfew on Saturday after a general election marked by major voting delays. The opposition is rejecting a poll they had hoped would stop President Ali Bongo's third term in a bid to extend his family's 56-year grip on power. Gabon held presidential, legislative and local polls simultaneously for the first time. Tension was high amid fears, electoral systems changes could sow doubt about the legitimacy of the result and provoke unrest. Voting was due to start at 0700 GMT, but according to a Reuters reporter, at least five polling stations in the capital, Libreville, had voters waiting hours for polls to open. A Gabon government spokesperson explains why the internet was blocked. Aware of the dangers of false information and manipulation on these platforms, the government of the Gabonese Republic has decided to suspend internet access nationwide from today until further notice. Also, in order to prevent any excesses and preserve the security of the entire population, a nationwide curfew has been decreed and will be enforced from this Sunday, August 27th, until further notice. The government understands that these measures may cause inconvenience, but they are taken in the best interests of our nation. May we all demonstrate civic responsibility so that a return to normality can take place as soon as possible. The stability, peace and unity of our country are absolute priorities, and we must do everything to protect them. I would like to thank you all. In 2016, Gabon shut down internet access for several days when violent street protests erupted against Bongo's contested re-election for his second term. For more insight on Gabonese presidential election, here again is Henry Muguzi of the African Elections Observer Network. What's going, going on in Gabon is really concerning. If you look at the context in which this election is happening, you get to see that Africa has a lot to do. Now, we are talking about a country that is in Central Africa. Central Africa is not far away from West Africa, where we are, having, we are seeing a resurgence of military coups, including coups taking over elected governments. Now, you have a, 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 a context where one family has turned the country into a dynasty. That leadership is, is handed over from, from father to son, as if there are no other Gabonese that have capacity to do this. And that uh, the, this, the, uh, the son has come in, has amended the constitution, uh, the amendment to remove term limits, the amendment to make sure that uh, elections are done on the same day so that uh, uh, there is no chance opposition has to, you know, to, to, you know, to, 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 to take one step ahead of them, but also to, uh, amendments to ensure that you don't have actually to do uh, to go through what other countries go through in Africa because in other countries. You, in order for you to be declared the winner, you must have at least attained the 50% plus one. Here, you in, in, in my majority you have, you, you, you get to be declared. It's really suppressing democracy in Africa, and it is also a, pre, a kind of a recipe for, 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 for electoral violence, but also for military coups. International observers were not allowed into Gabon. Uh, what are your sources uh, telling you uh, what's going on on the ground? International observers cannot come unless you have invited them. So the government in, in the regime in office deals it you know, unnecessary to invite international observers. In a political context where you have an authoritarian regime for 50 years, such as the Bong regime has been in Gabon, you, there is no civic space for citizens. If you want to survive, uh, as a citizen, then leave politics to the people in, in, in political offices. You cannot engage the political agenda. And therefore, it is an election that nobody is looking at. It's an election that uh, you have to wait to see which media are gonna, how the media is going to report. Henry Muguzi of the African Elections Observer Network speaking to VOS Pondi Home.